Hello everyone, my name is Ishan Jolly, I'm a voice actor and Twitch streamer, and welcome to this review and demonstration of the Antelope Audio Edge Solo Microphone. This is a microphone which is really cool in my opinion, like it can emulate, right? It can emulate a bunch of super expensive microphones. Well, there's one really cheap microphone that's got the an SM57 and an SM7B and a RE20 emulation, which are less expensive than the rest of these, but still, expensive microphones. I'm um I've just also bought the Anslip Audio ZenGo um, uh, Synergy Core uh, audio interface, the USB-C one. That's really cheap, honestly. It's um about the same price as a um, Apollo Solo, so. It's a really good audio interface, and I've um, seen some really good stuff spec-wise about how good the preamps and stuff are. So yeah, that's what I'm using it on right now. I've connected both those microphone, both of these microphones to that. So I've got the U87AI on the right channel and the uh, Antelope Audio on the left channel, which is a slight bit annoying because the <laughs> because in real life the Antelope Audio is on the right and the U87 is on the left. But f but you won't hear that because I'll be splitting the audio channels into separate files and then um doing sort just stuff so yeah it's gonna be mono for you guys because <laughs> i'll be switching between um both microphones um i'll be swapping between the u87i as like sort of reference microphone and i'll be using all these different emulations and showcasing them all you know one by one and how they sound so currently you're listening to the edge solo and i've been swapping backwards and forwards between the u87i and the edge solo okay so now let's see the emulations okay First up, we have the Tokyo 800T, which I believe, I don't know all these microphones, so I'm going to just take wild guesses, I believe this is a Sony 800T, <laughs> same name, right, same model number, <laughs> but yeah, this is the Sony 800T emulation, this is, um, if I recall correctly, a very, very expensive mic, like in the tens of thousands or something, okay, so that's how it sounds, and now, um, I'm speaking to the U87AI and see how that compares to the Tokyo 800T microphone emulation. There we go. Okay, so that's the Tokyo 800T. Now, we've got the Berlin 47FT, which I believe is a Neumann uh, U47 FET microphone. So, this is how it sounds with this emulation, and then comparing it to the U87AI and seeing how it sounds there. Okay, so, there you go. You've got a solid taste of how both of these microphone emulation and the you real microphone? Well, this isn't the real microphone, but it's an expensive microphone, so it's good to use as a sort of benchmark, right? This is one of the most sought after microphones, right? The U87AI. So, it's good to just have it as a benchmark. Okay, then. Now, we have the Berlin 67 microphone emulation. So, this is the Neumann U67 microphone, I believe it's emulating. So, this is how this microphone sounds, and this is how it compares to the Neumann U87AI, and this is how this microphone sounds and how it compares to the Berlin 67 emulation. Now, we have the Berlin 87, and this is um, emulating, I believe, a vintage U87 microphone. So not the AI, this is the AI I have on the, on here, over here. So that's the AI microphone, whereas this is a vintage U87 microphone, which some people say is way better, I don't know. Um, but hey, this is how the vintage version sounds, and then this is how the Neumann U87 AI sounds. This is um, the modern version, the, you know, the, whatchamacallit, this is the, this is the, the microphone for voice acting, that sort of stuff. And that's how it compares to an emulation of the vintage version of it. Now, the Berlin M103. This is a um, emulation of the Neumann TLM 103 microphone. So I can already tell in my headphones that this one is much, um, brighter it just has that 103 presence boost sound but i don't know if it if it's as presence boosted as the 103 actually is though the 103 is a very very strong presence boost whereas i'm just listening from my headphones though so i don't know how it sounds i'll listen back in editing and i guess um, we'll see then but i don't think it's as like as strong as the tlm 103 which is very very strong so this one I might actually like more than the TLM-103. I've already sold the TLM-103, so I can't compare it to it. But, you know, I've made a billion videos with it, so you can watch them as well. <laughs> there we go. So that's the MO3, and now comparing it to the U87 AI and how that compares to the emulation of the Neumann TLM-103 or the Berlin M-103. There we go. And now we have the Berlin 49T. I don't know which microphone this is emulating, but I'm assuming... Well, I know it's a Neumann. If it's says Berlin, it's a Neumann. 
And fortunately, T, I'm assuming the T stands for tube. And then, I don't know, Norman made a tube microphone with the model number 49. I, yeah, that's all I can tell you. I'm sorry. Right, and that's how it compares to the Neumann U87 AI microphone, which I'm speaking into right now, and there we go. And now we have the Berlin 57, which I also don't know which one it's copying. I mean, emulating. The, it's a Neumann for sure, just the Neumann 57 microphone. <laughs> there we go. This is how the Neumann 57 emulation sounds on the Edge solo, and then... Um, this is how the Neumann U87 AI sounds in comparison to the Berlin 57. Okay. And now we have the Vienna 12, which is a emulation of the AKG C12 microphone. I believe this is like also another super expensive microphone in the tens of thousands. And this is like the most sought after microphone for singing, I believe. Like it's just one of those like just uh, top quality singing microphones. And this is how it compares to the Neumann U87 AI microphone. There we go. And now we have the Vienna 414 microphone. So this is an emulation of a vintage C414 microphone. I have done um, some tests on a um, C414 XL2, um, like a, a, the modern version, on my channel. You can go check that out. I don't have it with me. I've already returned it. But there we go. That's how it sounds with the Vienna 414. And this is how it sounds in comparison to the Neumann U87 AI microphone. Okay, now we have the Berlin V563. Yeah, um, I don't know what microphone this is emulating. It's, it's a Neumann because it's Berlin, but yeah, that that's just that. And this is how it sounds. It's, it's an interesting looking microphone. <laughs> kind of looks like one of the blue microphones with the tube and then the little capsule on top thingy with the thing in the middle. I don't know how you describe it, but yeah, there you go. And this is how it sounds in comparison to the Neumann U87 AI, and that's how it sounds compared to the Berlin V563 emulation. So there we go. And now we have the Illinois 57. So this is a Shure SM57. I'm interested to how this sounds because this is a dynamic microphone. And also this is a much, much cheaper microphone than everyone other on the list here. The 57 is like $100. Most of these microphones in between 1000 and like $20,000 that this is emulating. So this is going to be interesting. And this is how the um, Illinois 57 sounds. And this is how it compares to the Neumann U87 AI microphone and how it sounds in comparison to the Illinois 57 microphone. And now we have the Illinois 7B. So this is a Shure SM7B microphone emulation. Very, very famous microphone. And this is how it sounds. Nice podcastery, sort of streamery sound. Although, if you're going to use this emulation, you should have just bought the SM7B yourself, really. <laughs> uh, because, you know, this microphone was about £400. Um, plus the interface is also another £400. So £800 for this total emulation set, which is the same price as a TLM 103. So it's not bad. If this sounds better than a TLM-103, then it's for sure worth it. But yeah, if you're just getting an SM7B, then just buy the SM7B. And this is how it sounds in comparison to the um, Neumann U87AI and how it sounds in comparison to the Illinois 7B. And now we have the Minnesota 20. So this is an Electrovoice RE20 emulation. So this is how the microphone sounds and how you can hear of it. How you can hear of it? I don't even know what to say anymore. I've just been saying, this is how the microphone sounds. And now to, the, <laughs> I've just been repeating the same thing over and over, but hey, that's consistent. Consistency is good when you're comparing these microphones. Okay, so that's how the uh, Minnesota 20 sounds. And now comparing it to the Neumann U87 AI and how it sounds with uh, compared to the Minnesota 20 emulation. There we go. And now we have the Vienna 112, 112 microphone emulation. I have no idea what microphone this is copying. I mean emulating. <laughs> and uh, it's a cool looking one. It looks like a ball on top of a tennis racket. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like a tennis racket, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So this is the Vienna 112 sounds. And now we have the Neumann U87 AI sounds in comparison to the Vienna 112 emulation. And now we have a Berlin K86. So, this microphone, also Neumann, but I have no idea which one it is. Looks interesting, it's very skinny with a big top. <laughs> and there we should compare it now. And now I'm comparing it to the Neumann U87 AI, and this is how it sounds in comparison to the Berlin K86 microphone. And now, the Berlin 47 TU microphone emulation. I believe that this is the Neumann U47, but the tube version. Like, we can use the, we saw the FET version, but now this is the tube version, and how it sounds in comparison 
to the Neumann U87AI microphone and how this sounds compared to the emulation of the Berlin 47TU. There you go. And now the Berlin M251 microphone emulation. This is a Neumann 251. I can't remember what like letter goes before it. But there's a 251 and it's by Neumann. I don't know the exact one. I've seen it. I've never heard it though. I've seen one of these, seen how it looks. I've seen clones like the Warm Audio 251, something like that. But this is at the emulation of the Berlin M251 sounds. And here we have the Neumann U87 AI and the comparison I have with this microphone compared to the emulation of the Berlin M251. And finally, we have the Hamburg 441. I believe this is a Sennheiser MD441 clone. I've seen that microphone. I thought of buying one because I saw it really cheap on a used website, but I just didn't, I guess, because <laughs> I don't really have a use for it. <laughs> but yeah, that is this microphone. I believe it is also, you know, it's, it's dynamic microphone. And that's how this sounds. And now back to the Neumann U87 AI. And this is how this sounds. Okay, so let's just go back to the Edge Solo, just the default one. Right, so that was a demonstration of the uh, Antelope Audio Edge Solo and its uh, entire... Um, microphone emulation suite and how it sounds especially in comparison to one of the best microphones in the world the neumann u87 ai and honestly i've been thinking about returning my u87 ai like it's so expensive it's so expensive <laughs> and if if this can compete like even if it's within like 95 percent or whatever even if this is like five percent better compared to one of the best like my favorite emulation then yeah, then the, the U87 is going back. But there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wish to talk to me, hang out with me, or do anything with me. Do anything with me? That sounds kind of off. But yes, <laughs> go follow me over at twitch.tv forward slash John Legend. I love streaming and just talking with everyone. So guys, thank you so much for watching. See you all later, and goodbye.